my name is Danielle. You can call me Danny, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing my June and July empties and yes I know I had to scrunch up two months together again. <laughs> I did film my June empties on a separate video but then some things happened with my camera because I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> so I decided to refilm it and just put them all together in a June and July one. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in and see what I emptied out in June and July. Okay, first of all guys, it is August already and I'm kind of shook it, honestly. Hi, how is it already August? Eight. It is eight months in the year now. There's only 12 months in a year. We're in number eight. That means there's only four more months in the year. Guys, it's mind blowing. I mean, there's four more months until Christmas, guys. Another Christmas. I just, guys, it's mind blowing. I just can't understand it. Guys, my birthday's in a month. Like, wow. Like, it's all, like it's so weird time is going by so fast but yet it feels like it's going slow at the same time do you guys understand anyways sorry i don't know i just had a moment there <laughs> so in june let's go ahead and jump in first so this is my lovely paper for june two pages nothing new <laughs> uh let's see here i used up 31 products in the month of june so Good job, Danny. Good job. <laughs> 15 of those products were high end products, and then that left 16 of them low end. Now, that is a really good ratio. I was very excited about that because, without even trying, because I don't really try to do, you know, majority high end, majority low end, or anything like that. I just go for it with any product. So without even thinking about it, I was able to do half and half of high end and low end. So I thought that was really great because I really got to test out the different price point varieties of products. So that one, I'm really, you know, pat on the shoulder for that. <laughs> and then when it comes to the type of item that was, this one is very different for makeup products out of the 31 products there was only five of them that had to do with makeup and then in beauty the rest of them were 26 so there's 26 beauty products which had to do with like hair care skin care body care and things like that and then five of the products were makeup which we'll go more deep into that later so then adding up all the price points for everything 31 products used up with 15 of them being high end and 16 of them being low end came up to a whopping $466.58 worth of product used in the month of June. So that was really exciting. Now I don't have some of the pro I don't well I don't have the products with me anymore. Unfortunately, I did recycle them after I filmed the first time, but I will still let you guys know what I did use up and things like that. So for example, the very first thing that I used up in the month of June was a Versace perfume. It does count as a high end product and of course it's a body product. So it marked as a beauty item and it was worth $30 because it was just one of those like little smaller rollerball ones. And then let's say a makeup item. The first one I used up was from Tarte which is a high-end brand and it costs $20 if my memory is correct I believe it was the wide awake eyeliner which is the one you put on your waterline to brighten up your eyes so that is the first makeup product that I used up in the month of June and then I used up a lot of beauty products if you guys can check my paper here literally the rest of the month is beauty and then i did use up a chanel perfume which reached to 138 dollars i believe that might have been my most expensive product that i used that month i'm trying to see here yep i do believe so <laughs> 
And then the rest of the items were makeup products. I did use up a Marc Jacobs product, which was $39. Another Tarte product for makeup, which was $10. An Anastasia Beverly Hills product for $20. And then a Freeman product for $2.49. I only had one, two, three, only three products that had no price point because they were like uh, sample size items or tr trial size if you want to call them that. One of them was from CS Moi. Um, I don't, I'm most likely not saying that right, but they're, they are a low end skincare brand and they also produce the Liza Koshi brand I don't know what she calls it but that is they are the like producer of that brand and then I also used up a Bumble and Bumble two Bumble and Bumble products these ones were trial samples of their curling shampoo and conditioner uh, I did enjoy those actually so I might actually purchase the full size of those and maybe test those out but I really need to get through my other shampoos and conditioners <laughs> so that was the month of June now going into the month of July this one I used up a little bit less products this one I only used up 27 products and this one was definitely a lot less even and of course every single time I do a video air conditioning comes on <laughs> so for high-end products I only used up nine Ending up with low-end products made it 18 products. With makeup, I only used up five again this month. Not too bad, you know. I'm lucky I even used up any makeup considering how much I have. <laughs> and then leaving beauty products was 22. Now, because low-end was the most uh, majority used of this month, I used up a total of $208.18. So, not too bad, but not super good, you know? I do wish it was a little bit more, but I am happy that I actually went, that I at least went past the 200 mark of using up products. I'm taking a glance here. I would say my most expensive one was from Glam Glow. The Glam Glow Galactic Cleanse Hydrating Jelly Balm Cleanser. This one is $32. It is high-end. It is a beauty product because it is a cleanser. So I did use this up. I honestly did not like it. It has a very fragrant scent to it and I felt like it left a weird balmy residue after washing your face like it I know it is a jelly balm cleanser but I've never had a balm cleanser leave like that balmy feel to the face like even after I like washed it off toned and everything like it felt super thick on the skin still that I I don't know it just felt so bad so I definitely did not like this product but I did use it up a couple of other products that I did use up that I do want to talk about is this one is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Hold and Shine Moisture Mist for Thick Curly Hair. I really enjoyed this one actually. It feels really nice in the hair. It made my hair smell good obviously, but it actually held my curls really well and it didn't make them feel crunchy or it didn't make them feel heavy in any way but it did keep the curl really nicely so I really like this and I think I already have a backup but if I don't then I'm definitely gonna repurchase this and this one if I can find it on here let's see Shea Moisture I don't know if I'm even saying that right honestly uh, it is oh there it is it is a low-end brand with beauty and because it is a hair care product and it retails for $11.49 so yeah really inexpensive you get a lot of product in it it has three 236 milliliters in here so that is pretty cool another hair care product is from the brand pattern which is a high-end brand it is the intensive conditioner for tight textures uh, this one 
I didn't really see a difference in my curls when I used this, but it felt good to the hair. I didn't feel like it weighed down the hair because sometimes if you use just random conditioners for curling hair, instead of making the curls stay bounced and everything, sometimes it weighs them down. So this one at least did not weigh the hair down. So I did like this at least. This one is just the trial size. So, or like the travel size, whatever. <laughs> this one is, let me see if I can find it, pattern. High-end brand, beauty for hair care. And this one is only $9. And then another product I do wanna talk about is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. This is the large size. So this one comes with 120 milliliters in it i used up the whole thing this is one of my favorite setting mist of all times especially from a low-end brand from elf this is a low-end but it does count as a makeup product and it only retails for seven dollars such a great steal the mini one i think is only one fluid ounce so it's about this big and I think that one retails for $4. Uh, don't quote me on that, but if I, my memory is correct, that's how much that one is. But I do like the big one because it lasts longer. So those ones are some of the items that I definitely wanted to talk about. Another one that I really wanted to talk about and tell you guys, because I did do a video a couple of weeks ago, I want to say, on some of the best blemish patches, like the low-end blemish patches. And one of them was actually from Dollar Tree. Now Dollar Tree also came out with these ones from Bolerio. And Bolerio is actually a really good brand. Um, you can find them on their own website and other drugstores. But I like getting them from Dollar Tree because of course they're only a dollar there. And they came out with these blemish stickers. And these actually work really, really well. They don't work as well as like the Hero Cosmetics one, which are my all-time favorite ones, but they still work pretty gosh darn well. So if you are at Dollar Tree or if you see these at a drugstore for like literally like a dollar to two dollars, I would highly recommend them. These are amazing. So of course these are our low-end brand. Um, they count as a beauty product because they are for skincare and these were only a dollar. And guys, that is literally my June and July. Ooh, let's count up together how many products I used. So let's see, in June there was 31, in July there was 27, so 58, if I'm correct, that is 58 products used up in two months. Not too bad, not too bad. Now, here's the harder part, doing mental money math. <laughs> So if we used up $466 on one day, or on one month, <laughs> and then 208 in another month, give me one second, see if I can do this mental math, because I'm really bad at it. We got four, five, four, five, six. It'd be uh, 654, $654, not counting cents, but wow not too bad <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for watching let's see how much we can finish up in august i have a really good feeling about this month thinking that i can finish up some more things i think my goal focus is to finish up more makeup products uh just because i haven't been really focused on the makeup i'm just really diving into like just testing everything out but i want to see if i can at least finish like i want to give myself a higher goal than five because these past two months i've only been able to finish five products so let's give myself a stretch goal of like 10 let's see if i can finish that okay you guys remind me <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below so i know and if you're not already subscribe to my channel i post every friday leave a comment down below on what kind of products you finished off in the month of june and july or if you haven't finished any products if you're planning on anything like a project pan things like that i want to know seems pretty cool so let your girl know, okay? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching again. I love you so, so, so much, and I will see you next Friday.